Hey guys, if you saw my recent Frozen Sonic Mega 8KS 3D resin printer review, you'll be aware that whilst I was impressed overall with the printer, at the time I was unable to test Frozen's print speed claims. Well, as promised, in this short video I'll be doing just that. Now please remember, I was skeptical. This really seems to have been a year of fast speed marketing claims from just about every printer company. And whilst I've only reviewed a few of them, I've yet to replicate any of the promised results. What's more, some of these companies seem to be using alleged speed claims as an excuse to produce and sell new resins. The Mega 8K was massive and because of its huge plate, it was fairly slow. So frankly, when I saw Frozen making claims of up to 900 layers per hour with their equally massive 8KS, I was convinced they were spouting the same kind of hogwash as their competitors. Their claims chiefly revolved around this model, and whilst I think it's nicely done, instead, I downloaded this excellent model from Printables. Apparently the model by R2 Miniatures is 58.02mm tall, so I rescaled my printable download to match. Frozen were using their TR300 resin, and they kindly gave me a bottle for testing. Interestingly, it's been around for a while, and it's typically sold for its heat resistant properties. As for these settings, these are the ones that Frozen provided. And frankly, I was astounded. Offhand, I can't recall seeing numbers this high before, and I half expected this big printer to fly apart. Fly apart then. A couple of important pointers though. Frozen stipulate that an ACF liner is needed, and luckily the 8KS is fitted with one as standard. But secondly, Frozen suggest this kind of speed printing will reduce the lifespan of the ACF liner. Now, I couldn't be bothered to print the 70 odd minis like Frozen did, but please remember that shouldn't matter. As resin printing creates one layer at a time, it doesn't matter whether the layer is this big or this big, as it will take exactly the same amount of time. So one mini or several is irrelevant. And for my fellow skeptics, I appreciate that this model is far more detailed than this one. So I added a couple of detailed models to the same test plate, just to see what would happen. I didn't start the stopwatch until the plate touched the resin, just to give Frozen every advantage. But after the bottom layers had printed, I began to notice how fast the plate was moving. For me, it was really going some. And in just 1 hour 15 minutes, it was done. Now that was 1160 layers in 75 minutes. And according to my maths, that means this massive beast actually printed 928 layers per hour. But does this speed come at the expense of detail? Well, actually, if anything, I think these prints are better than the ones I achieved with Aqua 8K resin at normal speeds. I also managed to print this Mando piggy bank I designed in just over two and a half hours. If you want this, by the way, the SDR is available for free. Just follow the link in the description. I have to say, I really like this resin. And I also have to congratulate Rosen for being the first company that hasn't told us bulls about their print speeds. I'm happy to confirm that I've matched a Frozen's 900 layers per hour claim. Well done them. The 8KS, despite being a big boy, can seriously shift its plate. However, as happy as I am with Frozen and the 8KS, just remember 
I am not saying that this printer is faster than any other, with the exception of the 8K. I am saying that Frozen Marketing does appear to have been honest with us. I mean, they've cheated a tiny bit by quoting layers per hour where other companies have stated millimetres per hour. And that, of course, does blur the results and confuse the uninitiated. But my viewers, at least, are smarter than that. And that's it for this short venture into speed printing with Frozen and the 8KS. I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Take care, and thanks for watching.